here on the right hand side is a team associated SC 6.2 uh, on the left side is a team associated Pro 2 so SE 10 now, both of these are associated vehicle vehicles now there are some difference in the quality uh, well the parts quality is great on both of them there's a difference on the parts I'm going to cover them shortly uh, but I'm going to start with weight so this is already set up. Now, the weight on this truck can vary depending on the components that you use. But as of now, it's 1331, 1332. And this does have the chassis plate that comes in, that weight. It has, I believe that's a 24 gram plate. And then it has the steel bulkhead, which is, I believe, 34 grams, 30, 34 grams. Uh, the other truck, if we place it on the scale, is 1328 uh, 1328 now these are some of the differences this is a mid -mo motor this is actually my 75 which I may end up ditching uh, maybe by the time you see this video I'll probably have something else maybe not that one's a rear mounted motor uh, they're both very good trucks uh, that one is about $340 as of this video. This one is about $340, somewhere around there, $350 maybe, uh, as of this video. But this one comes with no electronics. Uh, now, this one has carbon fiber shock towers. That one does not. Uh, but the design of those plastic ones is actually pretty good. They're durable, but if you break one, upgrade to the carbon fiber, they're a lot better. Uh, but one of the nice things is many of the parts are interchangeable. Uh, you could use this front end if you wanted to. To be honest, you can just replace the spring here for the bumper and the shock tower, and you could use that on that other truck. Uh, some of the components, the differential inside is the same, although transmission is different. Uh, you can replace these, the rear carriers. Uh, I think this SC61 has the same carriers as those. So there's a lot of components that are interchangeable between the two. So it just depends on what your goal is. Again, many times you will hear if it's looser surfaces, such as dirt, rear motor, uh, higher traction, mid motor. Uh, but the point of this whole thing is, if you're planning on just getting into it, that's probably a better way to get started. It's a high quality vehicle for about $340, will not break the bank, and you have something that is, say, race quality. Uh, now, there are better options, but you're going to be spending more money. Keep in mind that for the same price, you're getting only a rolling chassis. That one does come wheels and tires all dressed up, uh, this one does not, but that aside, you're looking into getting a motor ESC uh, servo, so it's very easy to spend, say, another three, four hundred dollars on the electronics, assuming you have a transmitter, versus that's 340, and it is a race quality vehicle. Uh, entry level, but keep in mind that entry level now in racing, that used to be the main race vehicle back 10, 20 years ago. Uh, but these are some of the differences. Just want to compare the weights. Uh, if I were to remove the weights off of this, it would be lighter than that vehicle and there's really nothing else you can remove. But to be honest, it would throw off the entire balance and the handling, so I would not do that. So do not buy one over the other based on weight. They both weigh about the same. And if you have not seen my Slash versus Pro 2, Watch that video and you'll see the differences between those two. But uh, showing you these two vehicles, if you were considering one versus the other, there are some quality differences. Uh, the shocks, for example, these are threaded. Those you need to use little clips for the shocks. 
So there are some pluses to buying something like this. Uh, the electronics, they're not the best in the world. I've seen these break. Uh, my buddy broke his on an SE10. Then again, he bashes it really hard. So I guess the electronics are high quality given the price point. Uh, if you use them and abuse them, this stuff will break. Uh, but that's a great platform to get started with. See if you enjoy a short course or not. And then later on, you can save up and get something like this. Uh, I would not recommend though, if you get that save for carpet with the idea of upgrading and turning it to this uh, after some time, you know, replacing the chassis, etc. At that point, you might as well begin with this. So try to think of how serious or into it you are, what your budget is, and where do you see yourself when it comes to RC in a year, two, five years? That is something that will determine which truck is the best for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I hope you found this useful. Oh, 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 oh,